Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Take Care, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over real life tickets, like sometimes I do that. So I do go over real life tickets sometimes here and there. So I want to go over, over an interesting ticket. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, IT is the desktop support, support video. So about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live because I do tend to go live here and there. And we do hands-on training. We do CompTIA training. We go over CompTIA stuff. Um, we do mock interviews and a bunch of different things. And obviously, I have my coffee with me. So I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. And today, we're going to go over real life tickets. So let me share my screen with you and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to do screen share one. So I'm actually uh, fixing an issue right now for a user. And I'm going to show you what the issue is. So. Good morning, Kevin. I went to log into my computer this morning. I have a strange error message on the screen. Can this, can you fix this for me, Tim? And I click on this. What is this? It says this profile, the user profile service. There was a problem with your roaming profile. You've been signed in in your previous save local profile. Please see the event log for details. So basically it's creating a roaming profile every time they log in. Um, and this is a serious problem because why is this a problem? Because when you have a, a, a roaming profile, a roaming profile on a, on a computer, that means that the computer or the person's account has been corrupted on that particular computer. So every time they log in, they're getting a roaming profile instead of their regular account. So basically that roaming profile is basically a corrupted account. Uh, and there are different ways to fix this. There's a registry. This is the reason why I have the registry open because there is a way to fix it on the registry. And I, I'm not going to go in depth with it. But basically on the registry, you have to go and change um, the profile list. And I'm going to leave the, the information below in the description on how to fix the registry problem and how to resolve it. I'm going to show you how I fix it personally, how I resolve it. If, if it was me, I'm going to show you how I fix it. So um, the first thing you want to do is, and I don't even touch the registry, by the way. I'm letting you know right now. I don't do that. Uh, other people might do that. Me, I don't do that. So the first thing I want to do, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the user know whoever it is. It says Tim, but this is pretends it's Janet Smith because I have a, an account for Janet Smith already. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let her know that this might take an hour or two, or this might take a really long time, depending on how much stuff she has on her computer. So literally, the the, the first thing I would do is I'm gonna open up her C drive. I'm, I'm, this is pretend I'm already on her screen. Um, I would go to this PC, and she has a home drive already. So literally what I would do is I would go into the home drive. I'm letting you know, this is what I would do if, it, if it, this happened to me, by the way. This happened to me for someone, by the way, a long time ago. So I would go into Snap and I would take a screenshot of her desktop, what she has on her desktop. And I'm like, okay, so she, she doesn't have a lot of stuff, which is, which is fine. Um, and I would, I would put that here. So I saved that. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I need to know, I need to go into control panel, right? And I wanna go to view devices and printers and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take a screenshot of her printers, what printer she has saved on the computer. Because when you delete a profile, there is no printers anymore. You have to, you know, you have, when you redo the whole thing that you won't have the same printers you had before, you have to remap everything over again. So I'm gonna save that as well. The next thing I wanna do is this is all on the home drive. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to her documents and she she has anything in her documents. I'll save everything on documents. I save I save everything on, on downloads. Um, I'll save everything on desktop and I'll save anything on pictures and I save everything on music and videos and put it all on the H drive, if that makes sense. That's what I would do. Um, I took a picture of the, uh, the screen share because I wanna know how things were before prior to deleting the account because I'm going to put everything back how it was. All right. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go into her computer. Um, she doesn't have Excel word or PowerPoint, but I would literally go into someone's computer and I would literally open up Excel. It's just like locally to my account. And I would literally take a screenshot of all the add-ins she has, all the add-ins, whether it's Bloomberg, Cap IQ, uh, Mechavicus, um, any add-ins that she has, I would save that on the H drive. That's the other thing I would do. So that, that's pretty much it for everything. Um, so I saved her the desktop, her downloads, her documents, her pictures, and her music. And I saved the screenshot of her printer. And I saved 
the screenshot of all her add-ins on Excel. So next, next thing I want to do is I'm going to go here. I am going to sign her out. I am going to sign myself in as help desk and um, I'm going to, I'm going to remove her profile. So what is the, that is the best way to do it. Best way to do it is if you go here, you go here, you go to this PC, you right click this PC. This is what, this is how I do it. And people who do registry stuff, I don't do that. I just go here and delete it. So I will go into user profile, go into settings, look for Janet Smith and delete it. Now that I said everything on the H drive, I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to delete it. All right. I'm going to hit okay. Hit okay. Hit okay. Hit okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to restart the computer. And as soon as it comes back up, I'll, I'll let her, I'll literally let her know. Hey, uh, Jan, Jason, Janet Smith. Yes, Kevin. Can you log back in for me again? Yes, Kevin. I'll do it right now. As soon as it comes back up, please log in for me. I need, I need to put everything back on your computer. So literally I, I just deleted her account. She has nothing on her account. So then I would go into people who use the registry. I don't recommend doing that. I don't like, I don't like touching the registry because it gets complicated. If for new tech, she shouldn't be doing that anyway. You shouldn't be touching that and have her log in again. And it's, it's a brand new account. You see how this ticket went from like one minute, went from like an easy ticket to a complicated ticket. It's complicated because um, when you have a roaming profile on a computer, the profile is corrupted. Now the computer, the profile is corrupted. They mean, that means they lost everything. They don't have anything on the computer anymore. You just deleted everything. You just blew up their whole profile. So now they're logged in again. Now I would have to, I would literally go back into this PC. I would literally go back and she, she, she's missed, she, she lost the share drive here. Look, her password is expiring. <laughs> That's funny. She lost her pro, she lost her share drive. So I would take a screenshot of that too. What share drive she has. Um, they might have shortcuts up here too. I might take a picture of that too, if that makes sense. So all that you have to, all of that you have to do prior to deleting her account because she loses all her preferences that she has on her computer. And on top of that, you might have to back up her bookmarks too. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but you have to do all that too. The bookmarks. What if, what if she had, what if she had 20, 30, 40, 50 bookmarks on IE? What if she had 30, 40 bookmarks on Chrome? You don't know. So this is the reason why it's super duper important that you back up her bookmarks. You back up her desktop, you back up her documents, you back up her pictures. You pack, you take a screenshot of her desktop, take a screenshot of what printer she has, take a screenshot of her Excel add-ins, Take a screenshot of what share drive she has. All of that needs to be done before you delete her profile. So don't just blow up or delete someone's profile because you feel like it. You have to do all that because this could be a senior, a senior managing director, uh, a, a financial person that's super important for the company, and then they, they lost five to ten years of work because of your fault because you just you just blew up their whole profile and now they don't have they don't have all their bookmarks. They're missing documents that they worked on on their desktop. They're missing documents that they were using before and in, in my in documents or downloads, you don't know. So this is the reason why you gotta you gotta take a you can take a screenshot, back all those things up and put it on her home drive prior to deleting her account. So you you don't wanna you wanna avoid all that. So basically do all that before you de delete someone's account. Super duper important. That's the point of this video today. Don't do any registry solving. There's a there, you could do a registry and fix it on the registry. But I recommend doing it this way. What I just did, I logged in as myself and I deleted the account on the computer and had her log in again. And I'm just going to put everything back. So literally I'll go here. Um, I will restore her, her desktop, restore her documents, restore her, her downloads, restore her pictures, restore her videos. Um, I want to, I want to know what printer she had before. I'll map all her printers back. I want to know what Excel add-ins she had before. I took a screenshot of that. I'll put all her Excel add-ins again. I want to know what she had on her desktop. I put all that back in there. I want to know what she had on the taskbar on the bottom. See the taskbar on the bottom, these taskbar, like this is the shortcuts. I want to, I would take a screenshot of that too. So literally I would take a screenshot of everything from, from uh, the desktop, the desktop level all the way to the bottom right here. Everything, everything. So then I, I put everything back as if she, she never lost anything, if that makes sense. So, this is a really tough ticket, by the way. This is not an easy ticket. This, this seems like an easy, it's not. It's not an easy, it's a tough ticket. So you have to, you have to do all that before dating her account. And then make sure she has all her shortcuts 
like her 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 share drives map back to it. It's like, I am Kevin. I'm missing the S drive. You just deleted my account. Hey, Kevin, I'm missing the L drive. Hey, Kevin, I'm missing the T drive. Hey, Kevin, I'm missing the Q drive. You know, because you just deleted my account. Hey, Kevin, I'm I'm missing um, my quick access documents here on the on the left hand side. Kevin, I'm mix, I'm missing all my bookmarks. So you gotta do all that prior to basically deleting her account. You gotta be careful with that. So those are super duper important things. Don't just delete someone's account. Make sure you have everything backed up because some of these companies do not have like folder redirection. They don't have backup solutions for desktops and downloads. They don't have backup solutions for documents. So you have to manually do that for them and put it on their H drive. So if you take anything from this video today is make sure you back everything up from, from the beginning to the end and take screenshots of everything and then put everything exactly how it was when she had her computer before, if that makes sense. So that is super duper important. Keep that in mind. That is very important. So I just did all that. But besides doing all that, just make sure you back everything up because you're gonna, they're going to lose a lot of work. They're going to lose a lot of things because of that. And you have to redo their outlook too because I just deleted her account. I got to redo her, her, whole, her, her whole entire outlook. I got to do it again. So that she's going to have issues with searching. She's going to have issues with, with sending emails. She's going to lose her signature. She's going to lose a bunch of things. So when you delete someone's outlook profile, when you delete someone's account, you're deleting their outlook profile too. You're deleting everything. So keep that in mind that you save everything, you back everything up, and you let her know that you're going to, you're going to blow up her profile. Not blow up. You're not going to tell her you're going to blow up her. You're going to let her know that you're going to delete her, her profile and she's going to lose all her preferences and everything. And I got to put everything back how it was before. Just make sure you save everything. So if you take anything from this video today, make sure you save everything first before you do anything. Don't just delete someone's account because you feel like it. Don't delete someone's account and, and then they're, they're going to lose everything. They're going to lose, they're going to lose hundreds, hundreds and thousands of documents because you deleted her account. Why didn't, you, why didn't you back up her desktop? Why didn't you back up her downloads? Why didn't you back up her documents? You know, you got to do all that. That's very important. So um, and that's, how you, that's how you fix someone's Outlook uh, roaming profile and stuff like that. You literally delete the profile. You log in as yourself. You delete their account. Have them log in again. It creates a new profile, and then you just put everything back. And that's how you fix that problem, all right? This is to answer someone's, someone's questions and answer because someone had a question about this. And that like, Kevin, can you make a video on this one? Yeah, definitely. Anyway. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great Sunday, all right? Take care. Peace. Later.